Tonight, two officers on leave after at least one of them shot and killed a man who they suspected of stealing from a clothing store. It happened just before eight last night at the Nordstrom Rack across from Washington Square Mall. Investigators say they tried to save 39 year old Jacob Bundy, but he died at the scene. And we've learned Bundy had dozens of previous charges across several counties. Anthony Castura joins us right now. You talked with Bundy's family tonight. I did, and they really wanted to stress and give some context about who this man was. They say he struggled with addiction really for years, and they say that he sought help for alcohol and drug counseling after he got out of prison back in 2022. They got that door knock last night, and now they say they're devastated. It ended this way. It seems business as usual at this Nordstrom rack across from Washington Square Mall, but this parking lot transformed into a crime scene Monday night. And now the family of Jacob Bundy is mourning his death after investigators say a Beaverton police officer shot and killed him. Addiction and mental health is a real thing. Cousin Mark Chan says Bundy loved his family and the outdoors before he got caught up in addiction, theft and other crimes. He was on the track um, for, you know, well, well over a year, wasn't doing good for himself, but at the end of the day, the addiction, his demons got the best of them. According to investigators, workers called 911 to report Bundy shoplifting Monday night. Within minutes, two Beaverton police officers arrived and tried to take Bundy into custody when they say he pulled out a gun and it shot off during a struggle with officers. One officer shot back and killed him. Investigators say de-escalation methods wouldn't have worked because of how quickly it happened. The situation was very rapidly evolving. For now, the two responding officers are on leave while the DA takes on the case. After that, they'll need to take a health screening to make sure they can handle the job. I know that's always part of the conversation when something like this happens, is making sure that before they come back to duty, they're mentally well. Investigators say the gun Bundy had, along with the motorcycle he used to get there, were both stolen. Chan is confident all the details will come out in due time. We trust that the police will, you know, do the best to their ability to provide good investigation. We'll see what happens. And we want to be clear here. The Washington County Major Crimes Team is handling the, handling the investigation into the officer-involved death, not Beaverton PD. That team includes various detectives, DAs, office members, and forensic experts. Beaverton police are not involved in the investigation because of their connection to this case. And in a statement today, the mayor is promising transparency and fairness.